My name is Brandon Schrader, and I'm luckier than the person that's won the lottery to be able to be here today and to tell this story. August 24th, 2011, the general contractor came up to me and said, could you relocate this cord? I went out to my van to get my arc flash suit because that's what the company provided us, and I didn't have my suit there. So I decided to get in there with no proper PPE, even though I knew it was breaking safety rules. You know, I had a decision to make, and I clearly made the wrong one. I just didn't believe something like this could happen. If I would have had just a simple shirt on like I have on today, I would have walked away from my accident. I'm doing this full time, going around the country, sharing my story, sharing my message with people so families don't have to go through what mine went through. Four weeks in the University of Iowa burn unit. I burnt 16% of my body. The first time I did the presentation, I was super uncomfortable because I didn't know how people would view me. And I was super embarrassed of my accident. Like all these other electricians, they're looking at me like, oh, this was his fault. And I'm not saying it wasn't 100% my fault, but I was not set up to succeed either. You see, we had around 60 electricians and 10 arc flash suits. PPE has to be available and ready to use. But I got over that when I started to see the reaction of people and I started to see how it affected them. And I started to make people believe that they need to get in daily wear that safety is real and that there are consequences. As I toured the Tyndale facility today, I was super impressed with everything that they put in to make sure that they fulfill customers' orders. I mean, they really have something for everyone. I didn't believe that this would happen to me. I didn't have the proper PPE. And daily wear, you want daily wear on because you want people to be protected from the time they get out of their trucks till the time they get home. The reality of it is when you put those suits on, People sweat in them, they're dirty. It's like sharing gym clothes. Nobody wants to go put on a sweaty suit that somebody wore the day before. And people will do whatever they can to get out of it. For the same cost of that $400 suit, an employee can be given a $400 allowance where he can pick what clothing he wants to wear. And there's so many different styles, so many different looks, and they're gonna be protected. The way they're making this clothing now there's no reason why every person doing electrical work shouldn't be in an arc rated shirt and pants. You know, it costs 350000 to fix me. Two months in the hospital, all because I didn't believe that this would happen to me. I didn't have the proper PPE. And my family was the one that paid the price. My name is Brandon Schrader. I've been in the IBW for 20 years. The day of my accident, I had 15 years of experience, and I'm an arc flash survivor.